So I bet you're wondering why I cry. Oh, woe is me. I am puzzled. I'm perplexed. And my job is on the line. If I can't get myself together, I'm just a matter of time. Oh, woe is me. <coughs> well, as I was saying, King Darius, trust me. I was his number one cop, his right hand lion. I always got my man. But my jaws, I couldn't, oh, oh, oh dear. I'm ahead of myself. Let's go back to where it all began. Nebuchadnezzar had attacked their land and had brought them back to Babylon as prisoners. Of course, my granddaddy was head lion then. Head lion? Woo! As time passed, many things changed. Now, Darius the Mede is king, and these people are captives. But some of them are merchants, silversmiths, bakers. In fact, they're doing all right. 
if you know what I mean. Ah. One of them, Daniel, is even a leader in the court of King Darius. Daniel, a leader in the court? Now the problem began when Darius divided the kingdom into 120 cities with the governor over each one of them and three presidents over the governors. One of these presidents was... Daniel? You guessed it. Before long, Daniel proved himself to be wiser than all the other presidents. King Darius was aware of Daniel's abilities and noticed that there was something different inside Daniel and put him in charge of the whole kingdom. Once a captive from Jerusalem, now a leader in our land. He has wisdom, he has courage, and obeys the king's commands. Just a different kind of spirit in a different kind of man. Predict what's going to be All the stages in our land agree He has ability But the secret of his power Is in his God above And he prays to him Three times a day To show to him his love Above others in command For his knowledge is divine And the king he understands There's extraordinary spirit In this extraordinary
faithful to King Darius, but he is also faithful to his God and worships him three times a day. Ah, I've got it. We'll trick Darius into signing a petition that will force him into choosing Darius or his God. Ah, that's it. Come on. You see how the plot thickens? And I haven't even entered the picture yet. Had I known what was going to happen, I sure would have bitten off my claws. King Darius, live forever. Your Majesty, we presidents and governors of your land have decided that you should make a law that for the next 30 days, anyone who makes a petition to any god or man besides you will be cast into the lion's den. Anyone who asks a favor of god or man except me, the lion's den? Hmm. Yes, yes, I like that after all. I am the king. Paige, bring me a scroll. Now, now, your majesty, there is just one more little thing. We request your signature on this law. Sign it so that it cannot be canceled or changed. Yes, yes, cannot be canceled or changed, canceled or changed, canceled or changed. <laughs> Paige, bring me my pen. law. Spread the word around the kingdom. Anyone who makes a petition to any god or man besides King Darius for 30 days will be cast into the lion's den. Anyone who makes a petition to any god or man besides King Darius for 30 days will be cast into the lion's den. <laughs> that really mangles my fur, but it didn't seem to bother Daniel. In fact, he didn't pay much attention to it at all. He just kept on doing what he's been doing three times a day all of his life. He went to the window that was open towards Jerusalem and prayed, giving thanks to his God.
anyone you know. Always looking for faults in others. That really tangles my tail. When they found Daniel praying to his God, they rushed to the throne room with the news. King Darius, live forever. Your Majesty, haven't you signed a decree that permits no petitions to any god or man except you for 30 days? Yes, yes, and it cannot be canceled or changed. And I seem to recall, anyone who disobeyed you would be cast into the lion's den. The lion's den? The lion's den. Yes, it is law and cannot be canceled or changed. Oh, King Daniel is that man. Good idea, but now I know I was tricked. I, the king, have sentenced my friend to death, and there is nothing I can do. I suppose you'd like to be a king. Make decisions, do important things, write laws, use a signet ring, have power over men and things. But now you see that if that power is misused, a man as fine as Daniel can be abused. about it. Cast him in the lion's den. continually deliver you, I cannot.
king was restless, couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. All he could do was pace, pace, pace. Little did he know that his number one lion couldn't open his mouth. Something called an angel had closed it. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. All I could do was pace, pace, pace. Look, dawn is coming, and soon the king will come to see what has happened. Oh, I better go in and pack. Woe is me, what's a lion to do? Paige, let us go and see if Daniel's God has delivered him. Save him? Quick, follow the king. How could his God save him in a lion's den? Shh, king Darius is speaking. Oh, Daniel, servant of the living God, was your God, whom you worship continually, able to deliver you from the lion's den? King Darius, live forever. My God has sent his angel Close the mouth of the lion, for I am innocent before God, and I have not wronged you. What a wonderment! What a joy! God delivered Daniel without a scratch because he trusted him. <sighs> Looks like my job is safe. I'm still the king's number one lion! shall tremble and fear before the God of Daniel in every part of my kingdom. For his God is the living, unchanging God. Let it be known that Daniel's God delivers his people, preserves them from harm, and does great miracles in heaven and earth. It is he who delivered Daniel from the power of the lion.
Bill said, Daniel, you must go. Cast him in the lions, and the lion will devour him. The king is really in a fix. We all know that he's been tricked. If God is with you, soon we'll see, and all the rest is history. Thank you for coming tonight. I'm going to have the cast members please come down to the stage. We worked hard on this musical since January. Let's give our cast a great big hand. story of Daniel from the Bible, the Old Testament. And we can learn a lot from Daniel's story. We can learn that if we are faithful to God, he, he loves us and he'll protect us. Now that doesn't always mean that bad things won't happen. God says he'll be with us and he will protect us. But you know, God protected Daniel, but we need to know today that God is with us. Our last song tonight talks about how this story relates to all of us. God loves each one of us, and he loved each one of us so much that he sent Jesus to die for us. And our last song is called, I Know God Loves Me, makes it more personal. I want you to listen to the words of this song, I Know God Loves Me. God has said, He'll always provide, it's a promise His word in part. I know that He's felt everything that I feel, for God understands my heart. And he 
keeps me from harm That there's no need to be afraid I know he forgives And he even forgets The many mistakes I've made In all of his ways Well, I'm not sure of his love But he did love him more When he came from above His love became flesh When he died for me And his love is enough For the world to see I know God loves me He sent his son His love to show I know God loves me He loves me This I know Jesus came to tell me so I know God loves me He sent his son His love to show I know God loves me He loves me This I know Jesus came to tell me Jesus came Once again, kids, thank you so very much. Just did an excellent job. Story came through loud and clear. If you'll take your bulletin with me or the program with me, and on, it would be on the back page. We have the credits. Uh, first, to all of the directors, we say a great big thank you in the sound and light and video, costume coordinator, set construction, preschool props, and all of the people who are involved. And it would be appropriate for you to give them an applause and just to say thank you. Would you do that? Let them know how much we appreciate them. And then there are two people that I'd like to single out, Dave Renoden and uh, Don Rector. Where's Dave? Dave, I saw him behind a pillar at one time. Uh, come on out, Dave, will you please? And Don. Uh, the directors of the music and the drama, and Don was the one who coordinated all of it. Thank you so much. It was excellent. Appreciate it. Thank you, Don. Great job. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it so very much. Great job. And you make sure you tell them personally how much you appreciated their fine work. Now, you'll also notice, uh, after the credits, join us in the fellowship hall after the program for an all-church fellowship sponsored by Women's Ministry. Chili, hot dogs, chips, pie, brownies, and ice cream will be available for purchase. So, an oper it's not free, I'm sorry. I wish to, I think it says for purchase, right. So, uh, a nominal fee and an opportunity to bring your family down there and uh, reward the kids with at least some ice cream and uh, some goodies. And uh, again, we say thank you to each one of you who are involved. Really appreciate it. It would be appropriate. Again, thank you so very much. Thanks, kids. And would you stand with me, please? Heavenly Father, we thank you for the story that we heard tonight, the man of faith who trusted you. Lord, I pray that it will challenge each one of us to be men and women, young and old alike, who will trust you and turn to you. We thank you for the great story that inspires us and also the living Christ who can live and does live within each one of us. Lord, I pray that as we leave tonight, we will be sent as missionaries, ambassadors of yours, 
to ministers, to those whom we know. And Lord, we pray also that you would uh, bless our time of fellowship as we share together. In your name we pray. Amen. Lord bless you.